in this season. Please don't do it without me. Don't do it without me. You got to tell it for yourself. How's it going, everybody? It's Matt Tamar here. I want to thank you guys for coming through. We're going to have this discussion tonight. And we're going to have this discussion about this fake-ass Universal Street avatar called Minister Jap. And I know he's live right now. He never really goes live at all because he's a banker's hours uh, street dude. <laughs> 
He's Baker's Hour Street, dude, from, you know, 8 to 5, where most niggas are sleeping. (laughs) Because right now, he's not riding out through those neighborhoods as he claims he is in high-priced vehicles. You know, he's going to get them pockets ran. So, what we're going to do is we're going to start off with a word of tonight. And the word of tonight is vivisection. That's right. Tonight's river section, the practice of performing operation on live animals for the purpose of experimentation or scientific research used only by people who are opposed to such work. I am concentrated on the second definition to ruthlessly sharp and detailed criticism of analysis of what this individual has said about dudes with passports. Now, Mr. Jap, person who probably has never been outside of the hood, or rather those type of people, he don't understand that people have passports for travel, they have passports for work, they do work on the behalf of the federal government, so forth to actually say that everybody who has a passport is somehow a perv is crazy. Nuts. But see, he's been getting away with this shit for a while. About this universal bullshit ass street mentality shit. So what we're going to do is I am not going to slander this individual. I am going to let this individual himself Walk his ass off into the hot fire lava that we have prepared for him. Make sure you guys hit the like on the video today. So, what we're going to do, since a dude um, so what we're going to do, since he's obviously obsessed with showing his face and saying stupid shit, and like, you, you have to understand that whenever you see Individuals who places their actual masculinity about how dumb they sound. Yeah, we're going to get into that, Chris Owens. Trust me, we're going to get into that. Because tricking is okay if you're tricking on men, if you're tricking on the game, if you're tricking... If, if, if you're actually paying another man to tell you how to get access to scavenger sex, that seems to be fine with these type of individuals. But you actually striking out and not even messing with this stuff at all, period, that seems to be a problem for fake gatekeepers like Master Jack. Now, his whole everything is about women. The wrong women that you don't want to be around. There are not any conservative women who actually want to listen to this type of dumbass shit. That's not possible. So what you have to understand is, we're going to let this individual speak for himself. I'm going to pause this video at several different points in it to actually give my actual... um, What I'm going to do is just allow him to speak for himself. Because this individual is stressed about dudes getting passports. So let's let him speak for himself. So without further ado, unfair use. Hold on a second. Like I said, this is a vivisection. So there's going to be some slicing and dicing going on here. So, if you want to see what's scrolling across the bottom of the screen, if you don't want to travel, then support SYAIA. Stay your ass in America. Leave us the fuck alone and keep our movement 
out of your mouth. Because you got women here to fix. Remember, your whole premise is that women are turning into German shepherds because of your lack of control over them. So if you don't have control over your own women, why would a person want to practice game to get control over such women? It doesn't make any sense. So what we're going to do is we're just going to allow this individual to speak for himself. Church, Church check, check in, in, man. Church, Church check, check in, in, man. I come, I come to you today on this Sunday, Sunday um, and, and high, high and high, high disappointment. disappointment. Uh, I'm in I'm pain. In pain. <laughs> uh, my my spirits, spirits are broken. broken. <laughs> um. I didn't, I didn't know, know that, that we, 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 we're, we're doing, doing this bad, bad as, as black, black men. men. And, and it, it, it just, just it, it, it literally, it angered, angered me to have, to have, to have this discussion, discussion today. today. Um, oh. and, and this, and this, this stems, stems from, from speaking, speaking with niggas, niggas on, on Facebook. Facebook. And, and I did, I did not, not know, know that was that this, this many, many perverts, perverts in our, in our community. community. And, and they're, they're very, very passionate, passionate with their, their perversion. perversion. And I and didn't I know that, know this, that is this is a serious, serious thing. thing. I didn't I know, know that, that the passport, the passport community, community was, was this, this serious. It was, was this, this serious, serious, you know? I did, I did not, not know that these that perverts take, take this shit, shit very serious. serious. And, and they, they are, are in my inbox. They're going, they're going crazy. crazy. They're making, they're making memes. memes. Niggas, Niggas are, are really, really angry. angry. Okay. okay. And, and these, these perverts... perverts I, 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 I don't do this for perverts. I did not know I had perverts following me like this. You know? So I have to I have to make this shit clear today. Because I don't want to be associated. And, and that's what I'm starting to notice that you know lames are clinging on to the church. We have got to clean shit up. We gotta clean shit up. On my Facebook, Facebook, if you guys follow me, uh, Minister Jack, page one, page two, uh, on Facebook, Facebook, I've been, been speaking about these passport niggas. The, the reason why I'm speaking about these passport niggas is because these passport niggas are teaching, teaching my young niggas the wrong way. way. I, 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 and the passport niggas are always old niggas. niggas. Let's, Let's keep this important. Mostly divorced niggas. niggas. Let's stop the let's stop the actual uh, video right here. Let's stop the video right here. You don't see the majority of people in this space that are older black men. Pushing getting your passports and traveling outside of the country. You don't have that. Now, from when I first watched the video about two two days ago when I watched the video, what's going on, Ike? There was an actual run up to the conversation that he actually cut out of this video that I wanted to address before he went into these actual comments 
about how he shows his face and that he's not afraid. And, uh, you know, if you're willing to like, dude, Andrew Tate showed his face. And the stuff he said was far less than what uh, Howard Stern used to say. They got this dude all the way up out of here. I wanted to address that portion, but he cut that out of his video. So we're just going to keep going with this right here. Dude, he, he's not a pookie, dude. He's not a pookie. He, he's not any of that stuff. I, I'm not going to allow you to slander those uh, individuals who actually live that lifestyle. I'm not going to allow you to slander those individuals like that. It, it's, that's, that's not true. I know street dudes all of my life. None of these dudes walk around acting like this. This is this is Renaissance Festival street nigga shit. You know, the universal actual um, representative of the streets. Knowing damn well with all them actual drill rappers within that city, they represent a specific hood on a specific point of town. There is no generalized street generalist. I'm going to go into that too, Black Authority. I'm, I'm gonna go into that too. Oh, that's what's up, man. Twit card, that's what's up. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna keep playing the video so that way we can keep going. You know what I'm saying? saying? But it's preferably old niggas. Old niggas, old niggas lead, lead my young niggas, young niggas in, the wrong, in the wrong direction. I am a, I am, a, I am anti old nigga. Always, always remember that. I am anti-old nigga. I've been anti-old nigga for, for the longest. I've been the first nigga to tell you about these old comfortable niggas. These old niggas are disgusting. They eat ass the first night. I'm the first nigga on YouTube to tell you niggas to stop eating the bacteria out of these bitches. I'm the first nigga to tell you that. Stop eating pussy, bro. It's beneath you. Especially when you don't have to do it. And you don't have to do it. You niggas eating random, random holes out. No, no shit, but these are old niggas. These old niggas tell you don't use condoms. You know? We doing this one for the culture today. This is for the culture. This is for the culture. The culture. Okay, so let's keep in mind that he's trying to use older individuals as the reason why he wanted to slander all of Passport. Older individuals are not traveling as a group. Actually, most older individuals are trying to feed you back into the same system. They're trying to feed you back into the same system that didn't work for them. That's what most older dudes are doing. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's got to be talked, talked about. about. These old, These old niggas, niggas are telling, are telling my young niggas, niggas to get passports to purchase pussy. And they want props for purchasing pussy. We're going to make, make this very clear, clear because I just realized that me speaking on this subject has turned a lot of men into fucking German shepherds. I have turned... I brought the German Shepherd out of niggas today and yesterday speaking about these traveling niggas. These niggas talking to complete German Shepherds. Minister Jack never told you don't go see the world. Minister Jack never told you don't get past with it to, to, uh, to, to, you know, not travel. Why, why? No, you can travel. But when you're traveling, for the, the pure, pure purpose of, of sex, sex tourism, tourism and to purchase, purchase pussy, pussy, you should, you should keep that, that bullshit, bullshit to yourself. Do, Do not, not try, try to, to tell my young niggas that, that is the way. way. Hide that, that shit from the world. world. You know? You know? But then, but then you got these niggas that turn into the German Shepherds. Now, 
Now niggas like, nigga, you, 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 you have passports? We did we done this shit last year when I cooked your passport niggas last year. I'm just surprised I have to do this again. You niggas acting like getting a passport is like getting a fucking doctor. Okay. Okay. A passport costs no more than hundred and fifty dollars. My fucking, fucking job ain't suit calls calling that, that nigga. nigga. Bragging, bragging about, about a passport, passport is the equivalent, equivalent of bragging, of bragging about, about a voter's, voter's registration, registration card, card nigga. That's, That's like, like when you when niggas you talk all this shit about these passports, passports as if nobody, nobody can get, get one. one. It's like, it's, it's, as, it's, it's if you took a test to get a passport. Do you realize in October, nobody's going to be able to get on a plane in America unless they have a fucking passport? It's going to be required to even get on an airline unless you have your passport with you. Just to even travel domestically. A passport is not an accomplishment. It's not the undoable. It's a right that everybody has. It's like getting a gun license. You can do it or you don't have to. You niggas are uh, you niggas have turned into goddamn German shepherds, nigga. I'm, I'm serious. serious. You turn into German shepherds. The same way German shepherds out here bragging about their degrees. You got these traveling niggas bragging about having a passport. This is how if we said this, this would be embarrassing if white folks hold this conversation. I'm, I'm taking, taking it easy on y'all. I'm, I'm really being really nice about this right, right now. That's how, that's how bad niggas is doing in the game where you're bragging about a passport. That's like bragging about a driver's license. You're in, you're in Facebook groups. You're doing vlogs. In order, order bragging, bragging about, about a passport. passport. Okay. okay. We're going to deal, deal with this with today, today and I'm going to walk down, down slow. slow. I didn't, didn't want to have to talk about it. I shouldn't have to. to. This is this embarrassing. Is embarrassing. This, is this is embarrassing for the game. game. This is this embarrassing, embarrassing for the game. game. And, and I'm... Let's... Stop right here. It's embarrassing for the game. I'm going to tell you what the definition of game is for people who don't understand it. Game equals putting yourself in a lower statue to deal with a low quality woman. Dudes having free choice to move around as they wish and as they please is destructive to the so-called game because this guy with his so-called game, he have to prepare men to walk into a situation that is not good for them. That sets dudes up for failure. He is there to escort you back into the same women that he's calling German shepherds. Remember, how did they become German shepherds if game worked? You have to understand this. Remember, your whole platform is all about bitches. And I'm talking bitches in the pejorative as in the women that you shouldn't be messing with. You cannot assert control over women who have way more power than you. They allow you to think that you have power over them. Yes, you have to allow yourself. Like I had a dude 
three weeks ago, I was in uh, Kansas City. I just came from um, St. Joseph because I always do from St. Joseph to the East Coast and back. This dude was trying to tell me about how he was running the world because he was a former felon and a woman allowed for him to live with her and that he was doing whatever he was doing to this woman for a place to stay. That made him feel like a man. What's going on, Ryan? That made him feel like a man and that he felt so much of a man by getting access to a woman with his felon credentials, which nobody brags on, by the way. He thought that he should hold it over other men as an accomplishment. This stuff is crazy. There are lax on pistols. This is how come <laughs> where life did. I know these dudes ain't really owning guns like that because most people can get access to it. Well, not Illinois where he lives at, but yeah, that, that, that's what it is. But you, you, you have to recognize that these dudes are not on your team. They're not on your side. They're not for you at all. They are pro bitch. These dudes are pro bitch. This dude is wearing a whole child support uniform. I guarantee you he's not driving around Chicago looking like that. Because if you dip your ass into the wrong community with all that fucking red on, your old fucking vehicle is going to be full of fucking holes. He know that shit. I I'm not dumb. My uncle also lives on the fucking south side. He, he knows that you can't go around there looking like that shit. There, there, there ain't no way you, you going around looking like that or even acting like that. But you're just a universal representative of the streets. A whole renaissance festival street nigga out this bitch. So let's keep going. And I'm going to tell, tell you niggas this shit right now. I'm going to be honest, be honest with you niggas. I'm going to look, look you dead in the face with this shit. I'm going to talk to all you motherfuckers right now on YouTube. All you motherfuckers on the internet. If you are hiding your identity, your face, you don't have to tell us your name. That's, that's, if you can't show your face and stand on what the fuck you're saying, you, you are a bitch. A bitch. You're, you're weak. weak. And, and you don't mean the shit that you're saying. When you mean what the fuck you're saying, you take what, what comes with that shit. I don't hide my fucking face. I'm... Okay. Let's... Okay. Uh, 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 let's stop right here. Um, if you are actually showing your face... And you're saying dumb and stupid shit like this. This is the reason why you need an anonymous identity. When you're doing and saying dumb shit like this. That's what that's about. Did we not see the black woman who said some basic shit about her stupid ass fucking um, actual clients that she have? She got fired from her fucking job. You want to know why? A person took her face looked up her personal fucking information, went to her job, and got her fired from her job. Now, I think that woman should have absolute ability to say whatever the fuck she said, but you have to understand that those clients were those clients of that organization. Those clients were clients of that organization that she was actually talking about. That wasn't her clients. And somebody looked her ass up easily and found out where the fuck she was and got the shit over with. I had many people go to the Pentagon to try to get me canceled for my fucking uh, military contracts. Don't think it haven't happened. It has happened. But they know what the fuck I say and they know what the fuck I say it about. It's very clear what the fuck I think about ignorant people. It's very clear. That, that I'm not going to put up with that shit. It's very clear that I'm never going to put up with that shit. Never, very, very, very clear. That's what I'm saying, man. Like, <sighs> that's what I'm saying. Like, like, bro, people will do that shit. People will do that shit. And, dude, I, I didn't care. I, I did not care that they called, dude, I, I did not care that they, because, 
because what I told, like, I let it slip that I move, you know, certain shit a, a certain type of way. They they immediately called that organization, gave him my real fucking name, and they was like, yeah, he moved shit for us. Now, what's the question? You know what they did? Told me who the fuck called them, asking them some dumb ass shit. Yeah, they, they like, bro, like, you just can't call into no government organizations on some fucking dumb shit. They know who the fuck you are when you call. It, like, you, you're not calling them from a spoofed ass number. They know who you are when you call these places. Do you have to understand that? Listen. When that dude shot that dude in the back, and I think South Carolina, maybe North Carolina, by the time that dude uploaded that video to the internet, the cops already knew who that dude was. They knew what phone it came from. They knew what carrier it came from. They knew this dude's name. They knew everything about that person because that's how law enforcement play. You really think that they're going to let you Upload a video to the internet and they not find out everything about you? No, no, no. Whoa, 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 whoa. That wasn't Jap who did that shit. Whoa, 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 whoa. No, it, it, it wasn't Jap. No, no, no. I'm just telling you how this shit works. If you put a video on the fucking internet, the cops know, the feds know where you was all the way down to like a couple feet inside the establishment where you were. They know. They know. They just don't say shit about it. So if you think that you're brave because you come online and that you show your real fucking face and that you're talking highly fucking stupid about people, bro, that, that's not a, a modicum of bravery. That's fucking stupid. No, Jab did not do that. Let, no, Jab doesn't do shit like that. He he doesn't. He doesn't. He, he doesn't. He, he doesn't do shit like that. This is about his words, not his action. He didn't do no actions. So I'm going to keep playing this video. Very visible. You motherfucking anonymous cowards. On the internet, talking spicy. You don't believe this shit you're saying. You don't believe in this shit. Don't you confuse me with niggas who hide their identity. See, here's the thing, man. Like, niggas without shit to lose, they always pride themselves on showing their face and saying some dumbass fucking shit. They always pride themselves on doing that. Like, here's the thing, man. Like, bro, listen. If you have some legitimate shit to say, no one needs to see your motherfucking face. No one needs to see your face. Like, bro, when you went to school and you took classes... All those books that you actually had to study out of, you didn't see those authors' face. You didn't even hear their voice. But you had to actually follow what was in the book to pass the fucking class. It's either that you have an actual John the Analyst. I, I don't want you to show your face, man. Even though you got the face of Rude Demp right now. <laughs> that's, some, that's some crazy shit. But yeah, but that's... That's what it is, man. Listen, I want us to be able to to discuss actual issues without needing to show face. Because if you have a legitimate point of view and if you have things that you need to say that people can refute, you don't need to see nobody's face for that shit. You don't need to see nobody's face for that shit. You, you, you don't. You don't need to see nobody's face to make a goddamn point. But it's just that people want to bypass the common sense of making a point to, oh, I show my face and I say some goofy-ass fucking shit. Therefore, I'm more legitimate than motherfuckers who actually make a point. Listen, the best lawyers on the fucking planet are ugly as fuck. Let me say that again. The best lawyers on the planet are ugly as a motherfucker. Those motherfuckers walk into courtrooms and they get results. There ain't no way it's like, your honor, I object, ugly ass nigga making a counter argument. That's not even a thing. 
So you have to understand that when people want you to show your face, they only do that shit so that way they can redirect the conversation to something else. Like It's like they can't stand on the points that they make, so they try to redirect the conversation to something the fuck else. Dude, uh, uh, I'm telling you. Uh, dude, uh, I'm telling you, I, I have seen motherfuckers who look like they had straight up all types of issues walk into a court like Chris Christie and get motherfuckers to bow down. And shit was crazy because the dude had a reputation of the cases that he took or she took. So you have to step out of this fucking time zone of, of, of really thinking that showing your face online actually make your points more legitimate, dude. It don't make your points more legitimate. The fact that you can't make legitimate points without showing your fucking... Dude, it, that's crazy. You should be able to make your fucking points, state your fucking shit, and get the fuck offline. That's not hard. But when you're a Renaissance Festival street nigga, you think they're showing your face and acting hardcore and wearing them fucking colors you're not wearing those colors around all around Chicago. I know you ain't wearing them colors all around Chicago. I know that shit. My uncle lives on the south side. Motherfucker tell me pre pretty much how to dress when I come out there. Don't do this. Don't do that. Don't boom, 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 boom. You want your shit to be great? Do this right here. Yes, because when I go overseas and other places, exactly. I don't go around on some fucking tourism shit. Trying to end up in some bullshit. But when you're a Renaissance Festival street nigga who's doing this shit inside your fucking house, you really think that you the man because you talking slick and spicy on the internet. Dude, you talking about yourself right now. You're not talking about nobody else. You're talking about yourself right now. So I'm going to continue. Who are hiding? Because when you are hiding, there's a reason for it. Oh, you got a good job. Well, apparently, you, you let the balls in the fortitude to stand for what the fuck you mean because that job means more than your fucking integrity. That job got you changing who you are when you off work. And you're weak for your employer. So do not confuse me with these hiding ass niggas. Now, let's keep this in mind that he's putting up this whole entire front so he can slander a group of men that he knows nothing about. He's putting up this fucking front about how he's willing to show his face and do all of this stupid shit so that way he can slander an entire group of men with passports. Because we don't chase women a specific sort of way within a specific environment. That's what this shit's about. We're showing disrespect to his crop of women by doing our own thing. But you're going to see it. You're going to see it. You're going to see why he's doing all this shit. You're going to see why he's doing all this shit. Why he's throwing dudes under the bus. Why he's slandering dudes that he don't even know. When he could just go and come as he damn well please. But well, we're going to keep it going. On the internet, talking spicy with Dr. Seuss and, 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 and stupid ass avatars. As your fucking face. You do not count. The words you say are meaningless because you are hiding. It is easy to be an anonymous motherfucker talking this shit. But if you stood on this shit, if your employer said, what is this shit, you stand on it. If you can't do that, don't get in this game. Don't, don't talk about this shit. Just observe and hit your comments, nigga. 
I'm sick and tired of all you motherfuckers hiding. You, you don't, don't mean this shit. You hoes running around here talking about the black man. Show your fucking face. Okay, we 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 gonna stop again. Hold hold the truth hostage. Thank for the uh, two dollars super chat. They hope you traveling outside of the money network. You have to understand that this dude is every bit of the German Shepherd that he complains against. If everybody minded their own fucking business, there would be no reason to even have these type of conversations. Like in my period, like you have to understand that this dude is building this straw man of people that's not even there. Like nobody's really coming out to miss a jap like that. No like like calling all pa dudes with a passport perverts and shit like that. Like, bro, you you are welcome to clown the dudes who are specifically get in trouble by not uh doing what the fuck they supposed to do in the countries where they're at. That's okay. We clown the fuck out of them behind the scenes. You're like, oh my God, stupid motherfucker. But you just don't categorize all these people as that shit. It's fucking stupid as shit to not make distinctions. I wouldn't make distinctions about people who stayed. I know people who married their high school fucking squeeheart. Fresh out of fresh out of high school. Like dudes I went to school with. But that's not the grand majority of people who are here. It, it isn't. So just let this dude just talk, man. But you have to understand that. I'm going to tell you what this shit's about later on. But we're going to allow this dude to speak. We look terrible. Following behind motherfucker. Would you talk? Would you talk to a motherfucker in a serious manner who had a goddamn ski mask on? If you met a person in the street, would you have a serious discussion with them if they had a fucking ski mask on? Would you take advice from a person with a ski mask? So why the fuck are y'all participating, donating, and speaking to motherfuckers who don't show their goddamn face? But you want to talk about this shit. I live this shit every fucking day. I take what comes with this. Because I mean it. You don't. This is some shit you do when you get off work. This is some shit you do when your motherfucking wife is upstairs and you hiding. This game is for real. This German Shepherd shit, this church, I live it. I'm out every day, very visible. So you don't get the ability to be an anonymous coward. And get my respect. None of you. It's too many anonymous cowards with a lot of wisdom. Just take some advice from a nigga with a ski mask. Let's get back to this work. Okay, so you have to understand that in these type of circumstances that um, you don't need these type of dudes' respect. His whole platform is about women. Women, the wrong kind, by the way. Like, the German shepherds that he's talking about, those are the women that the game failed on. And somehow he's going to teach you game or respect of the actual game to go to the exact women that that deny his actual teaching like none of this stuff makes any type of sense but he has to set up this front all this stuff about talking slick and all this kind of crazy shit because a guy getting to a guy getting to happiness without needing his help is a threat to his actual business model
It's a threat to its business model. I'm just saying this. Um, I, I've never made my platform about women. I think the women that you don't want to deal with, you don't have to talk about. I think that the dudes who stay here within this environment who keep messing around with these women who cause them direct consequences of the shit that they claim that they're not about, they got a lot to answer for. I'm just saying that the reason why I'm doing this shit is because nobody did this shit for me when I was coming up. Like, I actually had to go through the military lifestyle dealing with dudes just like this who was living in the dorms and all this stupid shit. But he's worse than the dude that he's talking about. He's worse than the women that he criticizes because his whole actual identity is based on some street HR generalist bullshit. We don't need no shit like this, man. Bro, we don't need you even talking or showing your fucking face. Dorian, thanks for the uh, five dollar super chat. You tell people don't take advice from the guy with the ski mask, but he's the one wearing a ski mask by pretending he has everything in control. Yes. Do you have to understand that any type of woman that this dude have access to that would have you coming out here acting like this shit, that's not a woman that you want to date. Period. That's not a woman that you want to date. If, if if a woman can have you coming out here acting like this fucking dumbass shit, then bro, you don't you don't need to do that shit. I, I'm just saying this, all right. I, I I just don't think this game shit is real. I think game means actually preparing yourself for women who don't give a fuck about you. And yes, I want you to have the ability to go after what you want to go after, but you just can't go after people who decided to do something differently and actually handing them different options to actually go after different people and just calling people perverts and shit, man. Like, that's just crazy, bro. It's just crazy for a grown ass man to like come out here and do that type of shit. Dude, that's whole shit. That's whole shit. Dude, I don't want to fight with women at all. I think the women who are complaining about not having dudes, I think they should be allowed to complain. The women should be the only people complaining right now, not men. He's complaining on the behalf of women that are not even there. This shit is fucking crazy. So let me let this dumb nigga talk. Today's topic, Today's topic, man. You're, you're a pervert with a, with a passport at best. You're a pervert with a passport at best. Perverts. You niggas get passports just to go purchase pussy. Let's be real about it. You niggas don't go sightseeing. You old niggas ain't in the sightseeing. You're a pervert. Your old niggas always been perverts. Tell my young niggas this bullshit. Your old niggas always been perverts. There's a lot of pervert weirdos hiding with these avatar ass profiles. Talking hella spicy. Again, um, there's a person right here who's talking spicy about men that he don't know, men that he never met, men that he never been around, men who are not into the specific sub-segment of women that he's into. He's the one talking spicy and trying to project it onto everybody else's, everybody else's talking spicy. Like, bro, like, we're not, we're, 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 as a group, we decide to leave your subsegment of women the fuck alone. Now, 
you have to produce for your women and it's it's like this if you if you're standing within this environment and you and if you claim that you got the access to these women that you claim that you got you gotta start producing for your women you can't just start going around making do scapegoats and shit you gotta produce for your women like most dudes out here who's on this passport shit like for real we're off the market That's what I'm saying. So he's complaining about the very women that he doesn't have control over. And then he wants everybody else to be maligned and dealing with the same type of women. Like, bro, like none of this shit makes any type of sense. Listen, I want you to have the free ability to do whatever the fuck you want to. I, I would never tell a dude to do, do, do something differently. I, I would never do that. I, I just want you to have the free ability to get the maximum results or whatever you want to. But you cannot be out here on the attack trying to draw people into some shit that they're just not into, man. Like, that's just crazy. Like, you can't do that type of shit, man. Like, what he doesn't want, like, like, Mr. Jab doesn't want younger dudes to have a better experience with a different culture of fucking women, even if they're here. Because I'm going to tell you, most of these women who've been raised in the same circumstances as these fucking men, they are formulating better um, actual relationships way younger than they fucking mothers and fathers have. Yeah, that's true. That's what's going on here. But you can't have this type of dude out here talking this crazy shit. And, and it is crazy that just because a dude decided to go another way or go another route to find peace within his own life, that somehow he's less of a man. Like, this is what these dudes do to gaslight you into Going into circumstances that you don't need to be in, man. It, it's fucking stupid. But let's but let's keep playing it. We're not playing. We're not playing. You don't count. You cannot talk about this game when you purchase pussy. And stop coming up with new ways to justify your pussy purchases. Well, you, you, some, well, if you take a woman on a date and you, 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 you kind of like it, it's just like purchasing pussy. No, old nigga. You niggas doing everything to skip around getting this goddamn game. You niggas, you niggas take, you niggas pack your bags and take everything out of the country except for some goddamn game. You know, take some game with you when you go out of the country. Take some game with you. Passport niggas acting like this is some shit that can't be done. Like, can't no nigga purchase a pussy. Like, like a nigga don't got $2,000 to take a trip to Brazil. Who cares? The only reason when you when you niggas get off the plane, them hoes smell the trick in you. Soon as you niggas get off the plane, soon as you niggas get, they see you, nigga. They see the trick in your face, nigga. They smell your trick ass aroma, nigga. You're a fucking pervert. You niggas go out of the country to do shit that you can't do in America. Cause you're a fucking pervert. You're a fucking pervert, nigga. It ain't never been that serious. It ain't, shit ain't never, it, nigga, pussy ain't never been that serious where I'ma jump on a fucking plane for 15 hours or whatever the fuck to go get on some bitches. It ain't never been that damn serious. What a bitch is worth to you. I'm the first nigga to tell you that these hoes are recreation. I guess you niggas ain't taking me serious though. But I didn't realize how serious you niggas are about your pussy purchasing. Okay, so let's so let's go again at this. Uh, everybody who travels isn't sex tourists, but 
the people who are actually sex tourists, they're actually sex tourists within the United States. They, 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 they are very clear with you about how they go out specifically for sex tourism. But domestic sex tourism is okay. Domestic sex tourism is okay. Yeah, they go to the club. Like, what the fuck do you think all this shit in the club about buying bitches drinks and all this kind of stupid shit is about? Yes, it, it, that's exactly what it's about. Thanks for the five dollar super chat, uh, Saint Nick. Y'all boys out to stay your ass on the play tension and be miserable like the rest of us. By the way, give him a password this week. I'll send him a postcard. You have to understand that nobody was there to tell me this shit when I was in Germany. There was dudes, like I said, the dudes who didn't want you having better experiences with them, those were the dudes who was on meal card who was living in the fucking dorms. Why? They got too many bitches pregnant and they couldn't fucking go nowhere or, or do shit. They couldn't afford to live by themselves off base and them dudes had to live in the dorm. The dudes who couldn't control their dick. The dudes who claimed that they had the shit under control. Dude, like, and guess what? They act just like this dude. They act just like this dude. Like, dude, I've been around so many people like this. It's crazy. I could almost tell you exactly how this shit's working out. It's not working. This is a bad look. See, I'm your brother. You lucky. You're lucky right now that you're getting this work from me. Because these baby mama heifers, these Cynthia G's and all these goop ass bitches online, they can really be taking it to y'all niggas. And it's, it, it's, it's no excuse because I seen it with my own eyes. Y'all are in my inbox on Facebook. How you gonna talk about the traveling nigga? We got our passport. Nigga. You, you put me side by side with you traveling niggas in any country. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna wash you. Cause I, I, cause unlike you, I brought game in my motherfucking bag. I brought the game with me. I brought the game with me. Are we oh, we, 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 we gonna prove, prove, prove all, all this, this shit, shit today. today. You, you niggas, niggas purchasing pussy. pussy. So again, it, it all comes back to the purchasing of sex with these dudes. He, he packed game with him. Like, no water, no passports, no ID, nothing. Just get on the shit and game. That that's what it is. What what Dick Doug? Nothing, <laughs> nothing much. But it, it's just that you have to understand the type of men that want you to stay around within this environment. Now, I actually want you to have your shit together, so that way, even if you get into some crazy shit, at least you can pay for the actual child to make sure the child is raised in an environment that's actually good. I don't think this dude had the ability to turn you into the type of man that's going to qualify for a decent woman. I, I think that this dude right here is going to turn you into a guy who's going to fuck your shit up to the point to where you won't be able to move around and do the shit that you need to do. I think he's going to turn you into the old dudes that he's actually trying to leverage in his actual video. He's actually just slandering the people who he doesn't want to compete with. You're going to these sex, you're involved in sex tourism. You're a fucking weirdo. It hurt my heart that you niggas have made this culture. I'm not gonna lie, I have to be honest. I got friends and family who, who, who asked me to go with them to Brazil and, and shit like that in the DR. And they out there, and I don't want no parts. I don't want any parts. I don't want no, I don't want, I don't want no parts of that shit. And this is the second time 
y'all have, have got to get on y'all motherfuckers' ass, ass about this shit because, because y'all wearing this shit like it's a badge, badge of honor. Y'all wearing this shit like it's a rites of passage for a young black male. You gotta go out of the country and fuck some hoes, nigga. You ain't never live. Okay, so let me ask you this. Passport, niggas. Oh, I'm talking passport. We gonna make it very clear. If a bitch cannot speak English, and you're fucking her, and you can't speak her language, what is the only common denominator in the mix? How can you fuck a bitch that don't understand what you're saying to her? Okay. 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 The, the only, only fucking, fucking language, language that's universal, universal is, is money. money. You niggas, you niggas have out there in the DR having, having threesomes. threesomes. You out you're there in motherfucking uh, Colombia uh, 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 having, having, having fucking these young hoes. You're out in uh, Brazil fucking 15 year olds. You niggas go to, you go to these fucking third world countries and you fuck. Holes that are underage and you do it with 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 with, uh, with, 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 with no ridicule, no shame. We gonna put some shame on this shit today. I know what you're doing. You niggas be you niggas be talking all all spicy in America, but then go out of the country and be R. Kelly. And just because I cook German shepherds and I cook these hoes, don't mean you get a pass, nigga. We not giving passes to perverts. You niggas can get this work as well. As well. You do not represent me. You don't represent this church. You do not represent this game. No, you do not. Go to my Patreon. You can see the first time I was cooking these pussy buying perverts. But we gonna walk this shit down slow today. Because... I'm, I'm, I'm looking, looking at my messages, messages on Facebook. Facebook. You niggas, niggas are very, are very passionate, passionate about, about your pussy purchase. purchase. And this, oh, is, this, this is, is terrible for the game. game. This is a big blemish on the game. game. This, this is a big, big blemish, blemish on manhood. And we, and don't, we don't stand, stand for that. that man. We don't we respect that. that. You niggas are out there being fucking perverts and rapists. And you're doing, and you, and you feel, you feel good. Your you, passport, passport, listen, let me tell you something. A passport is not a ticket to buy pussy. It's not a license to buy pussy. And, and black niggas treat it like that. that. Everywhere y'all niggas, 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 y'all don't go to take pictures and sightseeing. Bring a bitch. You niggas go purely to purchase pussy. And don't, and don't come, come giving that game to my young niggas because you're going to lead them astray. Because first of all, most of you old niggas nasty as shit. You don't use condoms, nigga. I know what you niggas doing, man. I've been in the barbershop. You old niggas try to tell me and my cousin about that shit. Go down to DR showing us them pictures of them hoes and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Trying to wow the young niggas. When in America, you live your life as a fucking land. Let's get back to this work. Let's get back to this work. Man, listen, man. If my super chat's gonna get up, man, and y'all niggas gonna motherfuckers start motherfucking sharing this video and hit this like button, man, we're gonna have to cut this shit short, bro. Boom. Here we go again with the angry man shit. Hit the fucking cash app while I slander these fucking so called lame niggas. Like, that's what this shit was all about. This whole thing was about throwing black men under the fucking bus so that way you can get your cash outs popping by doing this shit. That's what you did, man. Like, bro, like, this is the shit that I'm talking about, man, about doing this type of shit. Like, bro, he has an international airport in his fucking city. He can easily walk up to the fucking airport, see what plane is leaving to Brazil or panama or mexico city or any of that shit he can easily go up to a dude who's waiting at the gate and just tell the dude that hey man i think you're a pervert with a fucking passport what the fuck you think would happen if he walked up to a random ass fucking dude and said some shit like that yeah exactly it wouldn't end well 
but he's on the internet talking all spicy to us about shit that he's not willing to do in, in person. Now, let me tell you, the reason why I know that he doesn't have the courage of his convictions is because he's still alive. He's still alive, right? Like, if you walked up to anybody with this type of fucking energy and on this type of bullshit, that shit wouldn't end well, bro. It just wouldn't. There ain't no way you're walking up to a dude that you don't fucking know talking all this crazy shit. There ain't no way that you're going to be doing some shit like that. There ain't no way you're going to be doing nothing like that. And it's like, Dude, it, oh, that was and, and it's like this. If you got the access that you want domestically, how do you have all this? What's going on, Vanna Black? How do you have all this spare time to be slandering dudes who are not competing within your environment? Like I said before, I hope Night Swift, uh, a, a lot of companies decide to hang it up with trucking. It makes things a hell of a lot easier for me to get contracts, but guess what? They don't hang it up because they're doing damn good at it. So you have to understand that it's up to you as the individual to get the best thing that you got. Yeah. Yeah, what's going on, Shea Brother Allah? Ryan, most of the men that made a lot of foundation master of content are the reason for that's what I'm saying, bro. That's what I'm saying. It's like the dudes who did the marketing for the actual woman that you don't want to be with are the exact reason why that shit's on the rise. Like most of the dudes who are actually here, who were actually um, talking about this shit. They were actually being raised by the exact women that were the actual problem. And that's why those dudes are not even mess with those women domestically like that. That's why they built better um, relationships earlier like that. And the people who are normally locked out of that system are the people who didn't build those actual things. So you guys have got to understand that most of the advertising for the woman's choosing ability was set up for so for, for men not to even choose those women. So when you tune into like Kevin Samuels and all that kind of shit, putting those women on blast, do you not understand that he was setting the market for not dealing with those women at all? Because you expect for your woman to be checked vicariously through Kevin Samuels correcting some woman on the internet? Do you not understand? That you were setting the actual model for people to walk off from this shit wholesale? Do you not understand you were doing that? You were doing that as a person. That's what you were doing. Because the alternative is learn this so-called game, become a high-value man, give all your shit to a person that doesn't fucking respect you. I mean, that's what I'm saying. Like, like, bro, like, most of this shit do doesn't even make sense. We're going to have to shut this shit short, man. Because y'all niggas, y'all niggas bringing out, y'all, y'all bringing, y'all bringing the fire out of me. And I, I, I'm not seeing, I'm not seeing my chat room ain't doing what he's supposed to do. Second of all, y'all trying to rush me, you know? The traveling niggas in here, man, you're not getting on their ass. <laughs> Okay, so let's stop right here. Um, you did all this to slander dudes so that way your super chats can pop? You was throwing black men under the fucking bus so that way your super chats can fucking pop? Like, what kind of hoe-ass shit is that? What kind of hoe-ass shit is that? That you came out here slandering dudes just so that way your super chats can pop? You thought you was going to get hundred thousand dollars raining in on your super chats for throwing men under the bus for using their own agency and then you try to use everybody else in the fucking chat to be your fucking attack dog for your fucking bullshit this is the shit i'm talking about man like this shit's crazy bro 
The dudes you should be slandering is some child support dudes, man. That's the thing. Like, bro, like, bro, they do all this shit for financial support. They did all this shit for financial support. Yeah, he, he wanted to do this shit specifically for Super Chats. He wanted to throw us under the fucking bus. And that's why I say about these fucking weak-ass dudes around here, man. They're only doing all of this shit so that way they can get paid off of it. They're here to reignite your red pill rage over bullshit that you can't solve. So that way they can get paid off of it. So that way they can get paid off of it. These dudes don't care about your out, uh, outcomes or well-being. These dudes want you to pay them. To hear them talk crazy about other men within the environment. That's what they want. That's what they want. They don't want you making the decisions on your own so that way you can leave this shit alone so that way you can have a good outcome. No. They're trying to steer you back into the same women that they claim are the problem. That's what I'm saying, man. Like, bro, like, this is what I'm saying. It wasn't his message. It was who he was trying to get money of out of his message, he was trying to get money out of black men to throw other black men under the fucking bus. This shit is nuts. I say this. The moment you start talking about sexual access, you lose as a dude. You operate on her behalf. I understand what women like game channels. I understand it. It makes all the sense in the universe why they love game channels. Because game is all about them. It's about them. It's about preparing... Dumbass fools that's going to walk straight through that open door. That's going to give them all of their self-worth. And here's the thing. They know how your ass act before you even come down that road. The women are not stupid. The women are not fucking stupid. And yes, they should be there for people who are actually promoting their point of view. I've always been for that. I always been for people interacting with whoever they want to interact with. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. Ray Hunter, that's exactly what it is. Yeah, it, it's nuts. Dude, like this stuff is, is crazy, man. So, so let me keep going here. Because there ain't much else left to this. In on these niggas uh, uh, years ago. Do you even have your passport? So that's that's the requirement of the game. Passports, huh? We got our passports. You're a lame here, and you didn't jump your lame ass on a plane to be even more lame. Okay, so let's go over what this actual word lame means. So when a game dude talks about lame, the game dude is trying to t call you a lame for not giving your best productive self to women that don't respect you. So what they're trying to do is they're trying to gaslight you into going after specific sub-segments of women that's going to tear your ass to pieces. So that way the dudes who claim they got game can actually get their kids taken care of because of that shit. Like, we already had the stepdaddy error because of this type of shit. Because dudes were too, actually, um, what's the word I want to use? They were too um, focused on being looked at in a specific framework by the exact women that would never choose them on the first end so they actually came to gullible yeah that, that's what it is i'm sorry <laughs> I'm, I'm thinking of, of all like 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 three different languages yeah but gullible that's 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 what it was they look for men who was gullible enough to actually play this actual game to play this placebo type of uh masculinity shit when it came to 
just being a stepdad. You know what? Here's a consolation prize. Here's a woman with a whole bunch of fucking kids. Yeah, you could still be a father at the end of the day. And look, you probably can have a tism child out of the shit. You know, having a child with a woman, 35 plus, knowing the child's going to have a whole bunch of health complications and issues and shit. Like, that's what it was. I have no idea of brilliance, and I don't, I don't even care. It's just that these are the type of things that he's actually talking about, right? Because how can you say that you got game, but these women are turning into German shepherds, some shit you don't want them to turn into? So you have to be able to prove that you have a point that actually works. Like, this is why you don't talk to dudes like this. Like, you have to understand that whenever you talk to someone, they have to have a proven system that actually works. They have to have a system that works before you can talk to them. Because if you talk to somebody who's not invested and not involved in any type of progress, yeah, what's going on, uh, Leonard Thomas? What's going on, man? Uh, w welcome to the channel. I've been doing this shit for about five years, pointing these dudes out for five years. So, yes, I'm part of the Manosphere, probably the realest part of the Manosphere, the original intent of the Manosphere. Without the trolling women and all this type of shit, I came here for solutions, and that's what I'm giving to the youth because nobody gave me this shit when I was young. I had to go through this shit on my own. I had to go through this shit on my own. I had to bring this shit to y'all because nobody was telling y'all how shit works. Like, you know, when y'all go to these different cities and shit, I see all these children homeless downtown and shit. I know how they got there. I know how they got there. You know what I'm saying? I know how they got there. I know the fucking story. I know the story. I know the story. <laughs> what do you... <laughs> Sean, what are you doing, man? Bro, this is the wrong time of year for that type of shit, man. Bro, you ain't coming back. What are you talking about? <laughs> yeah, but this is where we at, man. You have to understand that we have a whole entire outcome that's based on doing things this specific way. And we got to be able to change things up. You got to be able to change things up. Listen, I'm willing to believe game that works, but we got too many uh, actual uh, consequences out here for dudes to even claim that this shit works. It, it just don't work. So I'm going to keep playing this because it, it, it doesn't go on for uh, much longer. But I wanted to be sure that I played it in this entire context so that way you can understand the type of people who you're dealing with. When dudes are claiming that they have these women under control domestically, is there ain't no way that you have women under control domestically, especially with all the shit that's going on? Nah. Around people who don't speak, I know English. You know what's so crazy? You niggas still gotta come back here. You still gotta come back. You see, see, reality hits when you return. When you return, that is your reality. When you return, that is reality. Okay, let me stop you right here. When you go out of town or even across the country for the first time, that your mind changes because you've seen some different shit. When you go out the country for the first time, you witness how people interact with each other in a different place. Your mind is going to change about that shit. The problem is, man, like he, he don't want you doing shit, but dealing with these people here. That's what he wants. And that's the problem. It's just like 
he, he don't even respect the people's free ability to move around. He don't even give a fuck about that. I mean, he say he did, and then he, like, drop off into this shit. That's what I'm saying, man. Like, like, B.A., like, like, bro, like, once you come back to America, bro, like, you're going to come back with a changed mind. Like, John the Analyst. That's what I've always been on, man. Live and let fucking live, bro. Because here's the thing. If you do this shit wrong, you think these people here domestically ain't going to clown the shit out of you because you went overseas and you got robbed or you went overseas and you dropped off in some fucking favela and got the shit beat out of you? You really think these dudes here domestically going to let your ass get away with that shit? No, they're going to clown the fuck out of you. This is why I'm saying why, why you need to do your research before you even go travel, period. So that way you don't end up in these circumstances. But you can definitely end up in these circumstances at a near 100% clip by being here. Yeah. I mean, but I was in the military for mine. So I, so I went to like better places when I was like in Europe. That that wasn't Europe, but but I didn't come back to America for for my passport rage. I went from like dope ass places in Europe to like <laughs> Germany that was still good. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So that's what it was. So I, I did have those stories. I had exactly what those stories were, but I didn't come back to those places. And tried to do the old shit. I, I, I just went to another place. My mind changed. And I, never just, I just never went back to the old shit. That's what it was. Yeah, it, it was a growth thing. It, it was a growth-based thing. I was thinking one way. I went to another place. The shit was great. Came back. It was like a little bit less great. But yeah, I, I knew what the places were. No, I mean, like, like, like when I went to the Philippines and Japan after Germany. Like, that's what places that was doper than fucking Germany was. And I, I wasn't in a rush. And the women wasn't in a rush either. It, it was some genuine, we want to get to know you. You want to get to know us. We know what your history of your people are. This is what they teach us in our, in our textbooks about your people. Because they knew if they saw you over there that you wasn't over there because you was a bullshit person. You was a part of the military or some other shit. Yeah, man. They, uh, uh, like, like, dude, like, mo like, I get why women are not nice here. They're, like, inundated with, like, <laughs> chances that dick, like, yeah, it's, it's going to make you fucking crazy. So let's see how much more of this shit we got to go, go for. So let's go. You know, you know, you, you come back who you are. You go out, you go out in the country to be who you want it to be. You come back as you are. So I'm trying to encourage you to be a better you. I'm trying to help you be a better you here. So, so, so it won't matter where you go. We can, we can drop, drop you anywhere. anywhere. The game is in you. You know how to. You know how to deal with motherfuckers. You listen, listen to, to these, these old niggas, niggas tell you, you gotta get your bad boy, man. See, See your niggas come back. back. Your dick smelling like, like third world country. Your niggas get wild by third world hoes with good hair. Let's talk about shit. I'm not, I'm not impressed. I'm not impressed. Because I know bitches. And them hoes, listen, it's bad enough the hoes in America right now can't take care of their pussy. You think a bitch living in a fucking shanty in a third world country walking around barefoot on rocks Selling ass and pussy, and pussy, you know what I'm saying? saying? 16, 16 hours, hours a day, got, got good, good pussy, pussy maintenance pussy. skills. Nigga, get you. Yeah. 
get the fuck out of here, nigga. And you niggas, you niggas can tell me. You can, this is what I, this is, I challenge you, niggas. You can tell me how much the pussy costs. How much it costs to fuck all these hoes? Oh, man, $60, $70. You get your bitch a though, nigga. How much did it cost the bitch to have you, though? Okay. I'll take that bet. Okay. Um, big city like Chicago. A big city like Chicago, for two people to go out to eat dinner at a... Um, what's going on, GC? For, for two people to go out for dinner and... Downtown Chicago, how much you think that costs? Because I did this shit because quiet is kept. I always go to the taste of Chicago every fucking year. Every year. My uncle lives on the south side. We meet up and we go to the taste of Chicago. Like right now, it's going to be the taste of Colorado, you know, next week. And my girl's coming back and my uncle comes out here for the taste of Colorado. Oh, GC, come on, man. Bro, bro, like, <laughs> 120? Shit, nah. It, it's it's probably like 200 bucks. At least 200 bucks. At least $200. At least $200. I mean, I went to this bar downtown Chicago and we did like a flight of whiskeys. That's like a that's like five or six like sample tasting of whiskeys and that shit was like a hundred and twenty bucks for like a flight of whiskeys. So yeah, easily, easily, easily two hundred bucks. Yeah. Yeah, uh, uh, of course you're gonna pay that amount. Yeah, at least. Taking ass to Kroger. <laughs> yeah, but but this is what I'm saying, man. Like, dude, it, it's it's not masculine to be overly. Yeah, five times forty dollars, two hundred. I know. I know my aunt owns a restaurant in Chicago. There's, there's actually married to my uncle up there. So, yeah, you, you, you're going to be out of 150 200 maybe even $250 for the end of the night. I'm talking about just dinner. I'm talking about a nice dinner at a nice place. Yeah, at least. Damn. That's what's up. But that's what I'm saying, man. It, it's like in those environments, like, this shit is like more appreciative and they trying to like discount the stuff that you go through to actually try to make it look like it's better here. I want people to be able to be able to produce more like unhappy men don't produce shit for society. Name me a society where unhappy men on average turn around and just do great things for society. Like that shit doesn't work that way. It, it really doesn't. It don't. It, it doesn't even work that way. So, all right, so let me uh, run the rest of this out. I just wanted to be able to, to lay down clearly because I know Chicago very well. See, I tell these bitches I cost, nigga. You, you ain't named your price because you don't care about your body, your well-being. But you have because you decided to, to deal with a different society and environment. That's exactly what you've done. When you decide to deal with people who want to deal with you in a different place, that's exactly what you've done. Damn, they're gone for real. Sixty-five dollars. That is that is that is ten dollars before the, below the seventy-five price of <laughs> Tony Maceo. You don't care about shit. I'm going to get the pussy. We're going to get it with the dollar. I hate that old niggas. I, I 
hate old niggas. And and it's a lot. So here's the thing, man. Like, actually trying to put this shit off on older dudes is crazy because older dudes are trying to get you to take over their child support payments, man. Older dudes are not. Older news are not trying to get you on the traveling, man. They're not trying to get you to that shit like that. They're, they're not. Like, if I if I go to, like, the older men in the community where I'm from, ain't none of them dudes left Mississippi, especially not the Mississippi Delta, if, if they ever played sports in high school. That's it. They're not doing that. that they're not encouraging you to travel, bro. They're, they're, they're not. It's, it's nuts, but they're not telling you to do that type of shit. They're, they're not. So to try to make these type of points and slander passport bros and try to make older dudes the recipient of all this rage is nuts. I think he's 23. I think he said he was 23. So let's get to the rest of this. A lot of old niggas with good jobs trying to participate in this game with their little fake profiles. You know what I'm saying? As if they were should mean something. You don't mean shit because you don't mean that shit, nigga. <laughs> Go have a discussion for eight, eight hours on stream yards or something with them other anonymous cowards. We put our foot to the pavement, motherfucker. We get out here in the streets, we get in the whole face. We get in bitches' face. You did. This the real world. Niggas want to see y'all want to articulate your trick. If you brown pussy, that's fine. Keep it to yourself. Keep it to yourself. I got a better rule. If you're doing whatever you're doing with a woman, keep it to yourself. <laughs> Why do we have to come online and talk about our interactions with women? Just keep it to yourself no matter what. What's the problem with that? Like, why do we have to have all this stuff going around? It's just that keep it to yourself no matter what happens. What's wrong with that? My rule is he who brings up bitches lose every time. I don't care about what you're doing with <laughs> some woman that you just met. It doesn't matter to me. It doesn't matter. Are you able to produce after that shit's over with? If you are, then congratulations to you. I don't care. I don't care. And, and it's like, dudes really don't like when you don't give a shit about what a woman thinks. Like, these dudes make you care about that shit. They make you care about her choosing and selection criteria. Dude, I don't give a fuck about that. I don't care. Listen, if a woman decides to fuck with you, I don't give a fuck what the reason was. It's none of my business. That's, that, that is two grown-ass adults who decide to do what the fuck they're going to do. There is no way that I'm going to be able to police some shit like that. Uh, I don't think none of these dudes are traveling, Lenar Thomas. I, I think that a lot of these dudes are just stunting. Like they are traveling. I don't, I don't think a lot of these dudes are traveling. I don't think a lot of these dudes are traveling at all. I don't think so. I think that a lot of these dudes have piled into the actual travel bros, passport bros, SYSBM space as their recent attempt at fighting a gender war from there. Trolling women and all that type of other shit. But I don't think these dudes are traveling like that. Because traveling actually... Um, You got to have your shit together to travel. You got to have, even if you have your shit together, that your job could not allow you to travel too. Like, 
Dude, I don't care about women's voices, picks, none of that shit. It, it matters nothing to me. Are you doing what the fuck you're supposed to do as a man within this environment to actually make it forward and do the shit that you actually need to do? If the answer is yes, then I still don't care. It's, it's just not that big a deal. You know when, when it becomes a bigger deal? It becomes a bigger deal when you've done it for the first time or you've done it on the regular and you want to hold it above man's head. That's when it becomes special to you that you have to hold over other men's heads. That's when it becomes special to you that you have to hold your sexual um, interest over somebody else's head. But then again, it still don't fucking matter. Like, I I'm never impressed about who a dude has ever slept with. I don't give a fuck about none of that shit. It is. And, and, and it's like, dude, they don't realize that they're being controlled by the same women that they claim that they run. Like when women jump online and talk about men going overseas and all this kind of shit, they sound just like this dude. They sound just like this dude. Just like him. There's no reason to even be concerned about this shit. They sound just like Mr. Jab. They do. They want you to stay here. They're going to tell you how other women are going to treat you and all this shit. This shit's dumb. It's crazy. The point is they don't want you fitting in anywhere. That That's the problem. They want her choosing ability to be what you're actually about. And that's it. I'm just saying. If you're not dealing with a certain specific sub-segment of women, why are you talking about them? His whole entire platform is about women. The women that he don't want to date. The women that he don't want to produce for. The women that he don't want to provide for. And subsequently, the women that he wants you stuck to for his own benefit. This is nuts. Yeah, things change when you can actually use them as a utility. Dude, I've never... Hold on a second. I, I need to highlight this comment. You got to be very wary of men who talk about sexual access too much. You got to be very wary of men who talk about mundane things like it's fucking the end of the universe. You have to be very wary of a man who want to control all men's behavior when it comes to women. This shit is nuts. We know that a woman would fuck with a dude for one reason, another dude for another reason, a dude for another reason. We already know that shit. So why make it an actual position point to make it look like you are the universal choice of all women? That's what I'm saying. But, but Ishmael Thomas, like, this shit is a lifestyle. It is a lifestyle. And I take it seriously. It is a lifestyle. It is. Like, like when people go places, they're not even concerned about women. They're trying to take in the ambiance of the situation that they flew to. Women are not even... It, what, women are just like a, a, a side piece of, of, like, everything else. It's like a, a 30 course meal. The the women are like the lemon and the lime that you get to to enjoy the rest of the course of the meals of the situation. You have to understand that this guy is not gonna make any more sense in this fucking live stream. But I just wanted to let you know that why you need to understand that there are people out here who don't want you finding happiness. He has to protect the game. That's what I'm saying. I've heard a lot of great things about the place. A lot of great things. Especially from uh, No Excuses ENT if he's still here. You know, he, he out there heavy. You know, and that's what you could do if you're on the up and up. You can go out there. You can go meet different people in different places. Different people, different places already set up. You can go meet people when you're not on that bullshit. I 
I just can't imagine walking into the FBI building and just calling random dudes who have overseas assignments as fucking perverts. I, I, I can't imagine that. I can't imagine walking into some military installation, knowing all the places overseas they can go and calling them dudes perverts for the most part. I, I can't I can't I, I can't imagine that. Yes. A lot of these dudes have found a way to make it within the environment without being productive. And they want to protect that type of environment to where they're in. They they want to do that shit. A lot of these people are comfortable with actually um, making it on the edges of society, being barely productive within the environment, and they hold their productivity or their recent getting to the money over poverty-stricken women within their own environment and then try to push it off on other men overseas as if they're doing the same thing. There were a lot of pro-slavery factions. Like, my mother's side of family was a lot of those dudes, like, down there in the Jackson area, who actually fought with the Confederacy at the Battle of Vicksburg. There's a lot of my family who fucking betrayed the entire country by doing that shit. That's why we can't even fuck with them dudes even till today. Because they fought in the Battle of Vicksburg. To try to help the fucking Confederacy. There were black men, for the most part, not really women, who actually did shit like that. So you have to understand that, dude, the outcomes matter. The outcomes matter. And when you go to other environments, you go to other environments where men actually work together. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm not afraid to tell you that that's what fucking happened. On Sister George's side of the family. Not her family specifically, but there are some people on her side of the family that that that, that is joined on our side of the family that you know together with our families deep down there that yeah, that that, that type of shit. Yeah. They had a whole platoon of them motherfuckers down there. So Again, we know that this is a one and done. Uh, we're not going to be going back and forth with Mr. Jap or nothing like that because he has to prove that game actually works and there's actual an outcome of a system that is proven that men actually run from the standpoint of game. I, I don't think that's the case. We know that's not the case. You have to understand that you have to stop being this colorless motherfucker and Stop Stop giving a fuck about how the family looks. Start caring about how the family operates. Because that's where we lost shit at. We, we stopped giving a fuck about how the family fucking operates. We stopped caring about how the family operates. And we only cared about how the family looked. You are, all, you are responsible for your own outcomes here. Don't let nobody gaslight you into bad decision-making processes. It's up to you to get your own shit, whether you stay or whether you go. I just want you to have the best outcomes. Everybody have the best outcome. I don't give a fuck who you got to date. Have the best outcome. Well, we have to stop this miscategorizing of people to other people like we're something that we're not. And it's very clear that a lot of people can't debate their points of view. Because if you have to debate your points of view, you have to provide some type of solution. Or even the solution that you found for yourself. And most people can't even do that type of shit. They, they can't say how they found any type of souls or happiness for themselves. That's why they have to push it off on these type of gaslighting and trolling type of live streams to actually corral you or push you into another measure. The only thing they're doing is taking the women's angst of her not picking properly and putting it on the men that are leaving. Well, I'm telling you that you got the choice of all of that shit. And it's up to you to put yourself in those type of uh, situations so that way you can pick from a better group of 
group and better different people. So that way you can get the things rolling. Yeah, they're not going to do that because they actually still want people who have money to come invest within their local economy. That's why that's never going to happen that way. Like they actually want people to still come to and invest within their systems there. Now, what men need to be actually wary of is the actual like uh, Thailand. Like if you get, you know, wrapped up with somebody there that, you know, they own half of your shit and they could just take the half from you whenever they want to. So you have to be wary of the actual environments to which you are actually doing business. Yeah, they do want babies. They want babies. And now they don't even need to have sexual contact with you to even claim that the kid's yours. That's the whole point of this. But see, since the game dudes haven't even covered that, it is, it's up to the other people who want to actually help men have a better outcome of how these things work. So I really want to thank you guys for coming through. I want to thank everybody for coming through. Make sure you subscribe to the channel if this is your first time here. Like I said, we do analysis over here. What you do is you do analysis. Analysis is not hard. Analysis is not even that long. You play a person's actual message and then you respond to them that's it i did not take minister jab out of context i did not slander this dude i did not do any of that shit i merely played his words and told you what he meant behind his words and that's it so there's no reason to be going over to his channel saying stupid shit inside this fucking chat i don't endorse shit like that I don't want you to unsubscribe from Mr. Jab because I do think he's still pretty entertaining outside of all this other shit that he's doing. So with that said, I want to thank you guys for coming through on this Saturday night on the man tomorrow. Please have a great rest of your week and you guys have a really nice day. Peace.